Hello everyone, Wednesday is here, which means it's time for another episode of Word Wednesday. I'm Jaja, and you're watching Jaja Live. Today is our finale on our October long discussion on recognizing the devil. <laughs> Today's focus is how to remain on guard against the enemy. James chapter 4 verse 7 instructs us to submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. One of the most important aspects to remember in regards to the devil is no matter how many darts he throws at us, God has given us power over the devil. In Luke chapter 10, verse 19, God says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. This means that the outcome of our encounter with the enemy has less to do with the enemy himself and everything to do with our response to the enemy. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 21 through 32 says, When you heard about Christ and were taught in him in accordance with the truth that is in Jesus, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God, in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Anyone who has been stealing must steal no more, but must work doing something useful with their own hands that they may have something to share with those in need. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Ephesians has just given us a host of valuable nuggets that God instructs us to adopt. This is a part of our arsenal. And if we continue reading in Ephesians, God instructs us further. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13 through 18. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. And in addition to all that power and authority that God has given us, guess what? In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15, we're reminded, for the battle is not yours, but God's. 
Thank you for joining me for our October finale of Recognizing the Devil. Don't forget to join me next Word Wednesday for our new topic of discussion for the month of November. I'm Zsa and this has been Zsa Live. And I certainly hope to see you next Word Wednesday. Bye-bye. loves me very much he lifts me up when life storms are blowing me down he places my uneasy feet on his level and solid ground